um, we need to move forward uh, with the clean renewable energy systems that are going to be the salvation of humanity. Um, you know, the evidence is all around us now that climate change is bearing down on the people of the earth. And here in America, of course, we've got uh, record forest fires where we're losing millions of acres in the West, and we've got record drought throughout the Midwest and the South, and we've got record flooding and uh, ocean rise in the East and hurricanes of record frequency and velocity taking place in the coastal areas. So we're all in danger. Um, and there's no doubt that there are people getting wealthy um, off of the old carbon energy system, but it's a lethal danger to the rest of us. And we, we've got to make a break from that kind of politics. You know, we're disappointed that Build Back Better is originally advanced in its entirety, won't be going, but we're convinced that major chunks of it, including the $550 billion investment in renewable and safe energy, um, will find its way uh, onto the floor of the House and the floor of the Senate, just because it's an historical necessity. We need to make this happen. This is the real, um, the, the real challenge and the imperative of our times is to confront climate change and it should be able to unify the people of the world. It should be able to unify the governments of the world. But we need democracy and um, the authoritarians and uh, the, the tiny special interests that are thriving off of the carbon economy are dead set opposed uh, to the democratic movements.